Alrighty, it's Thursday, March 22nd, 2012, and it's time for Comets X. Uh, last night was a, another very late last night, uh, to the point where I'm going to bed when everyone else is getting up and going to work, namely 6 o'clock in the morning. But that's neither here nor there, that's standard uh, uh, fare for me now. Although I do notice that, uh, it, it, and this, <laughs> this is when you can tell fatigue is kind of setting in, is uh, my ability to speak uh, uh, comes and goes. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not so good. Um, usually when it's not good, it's there's an enormous amount of fatigue. Although I do see when, from watching my own videos that I am getting better at things, I'm not making as many mistakes. Uh, my vocabulary is getting better. My grammar is getting better. I, I sometimes, I don't know why the, the bad grammar comes out, but it just does. Uh, you don't even notice it until afterwards when you're watching it that, that you've said something incorrect. And I guess, I guess it's, it's, again, this whole in the moment thing that as you're trying to do something in the moment, it's more difficult to, uh, and, I, and, and this is, it, you know, I know that more difficult is not supposed to be a, a, a grammatically correct term, but it is, it's, it's not only difficult, but it's, 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 it's a proper, that's a proper description, it's more difficult, it, it's not only difficult to speak anyways, in, in terms of coming up, uh, if you're speaking, people memorize their speech and they and you can tell when people are either memorized or uh, have read their speech and, and you have to be uh, not nervous enough to remember what to say and so on and so forth so that would be difficult more difficult would be to write the speech from notes as you're speaking that's more difficult so it's not that it's you know the, the term isn't uh, uh, grammatically incorrect. It's actually a, a proper description because you have a graduated level of dif difficulty. Uh, and it's it it, it it really depends on how you want to phrase it, and, and sometimes th that's where you get stuck. You get stuck trying to figure out. If what you're going to say is proper enough, and sometimes you want to say things in a different way, so getting the phrasing right, getting the arrangement right, uh, can cause you to stutter and sort of give you that 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 that, 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 that you know the stutter pit. <laughs> it's the train of thought slowing down to the point that it slows the. Uh, the speech patterns out because your mind hasn't decided yet what you want to say and this uh, you know I see this in other you know uh, particularly when they're first starting out when they're first starting out their videos they really don't know what to say in their videos particularly when you're starting your vlogs and, and, then, and I see a number of girls this is to a number of the girls have been out there who've begun their vlogs and uh, are kind of stuck on what to say and what to do what videos and it's kind of you, you want to sort of invite people in. It's just be, that people are hanging out with you. That's that's basically what vlogs are. Uh, if you're a type of person who doesn't mind people hanging out with you and doing whatever, uh, it's a matter of sort of being getting comfortable enough to be yourself on camera in front of the webcam at this particular uh, for however length, how much, forever, how much, forever, for however much time you want to spend in front of the camera. You know, it could be five minutes, it could be ten minutes, it could be even longer. My, mine are typically longer because uh, uh, I am a nerd. I am like uh, Sheldon Cooper. This is a, and this is why it's called Big Bang Theory RL. Uh, Comets X gives you uh, <laughs> an idea that it's kind of, form the, the title is kind of formulaic. Uh, and because there's a series of types of comments, I've, I've graduated my comments into different types. Uh, comments X 
is the most common variable used. And so since cometh x is your, is your beginning variable on the x-axis, this is where it's going to be, and it's going to be the longest. And comments y will be shorter uh, and on various other topics. Right now I'm still uh, fixing up my video editing suite. Um, I'm adding in some new packages there. Uh, this includes uh, I was able to get enough software that I could build a, a nice little music studio on there and now I'm in the process of learning how to, to compose my own uh, music because you can't put in uh, copywritten music behind your videos no matter how much they're how, how appropriate they are or whatever they say you can't use them because there's the DCA restrictions and you'll get your video flagged and uh, it will be pulled off the, uh, YouTube so the only choice then is to simply create your own and that's what I'm going about doing is uh, creating my own videos my own uh, music for the videos but that means uh, fixing up my computer so that I can do that. Anyway, um, I was supposed to film, uh, I'm still working on it, the uh, first in a documentary series for uh, uh, the Bass Institute channel. Uh, I'll have more chance, I have a, a better chance to do that today. Uh, although I was supposed to do it yesterday, I'm going to have a better chance to do it today because uh, yesterday I was looking at some new sources for the news. The news has gone from just having a half hour content to having a full hour of content broken up into two uh, two segments. There's a part one and part two. If you look at the news there, uh, there's the part one and part two, and there's the recommended documentary series that uh, uh, if you are planning to go look at the news, watch these documentary series. Um, check out for, check out the I'm going to be posting every so often uh, a reading list that you should be looking at into in term, you know trying to read just to sort of keep yourself up to date uh, because there's an, there's an enormous amount of information geopolitics is very complex it's not a simple subject uh, we are not I'm not sort of approaching this from uh, an elementary point of view we're jumping right in and there will be an intention to get involved in geopolitics and in global diplomacy. Uh, then I've also um, I'm working on bringing out uh, a new series of uh, educational documentaries, educational uh, videos uh, under the uh, the university's channel, the Academia U. Uh, the first series of documentaries, go look in the UEP list, the, the playlist. Uh, all, those do all the docs will be there first. They'll be there for both the, the UEP students and the graduate students. A lot of the beginning and elementary tutorials, even uh, how to build your library will be down there in that list. Although I think I might be doing other other lists as well. Just watch that page because it, 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 the stuff is going to be coming out, uh, and this is for any kid. I'm watching. <laughs> you know, uh, there are some kids talking about things that will get get them in trouble, and there was this uh, radio rebel uh, on uh, Nickelodeon that came out with Nick on Nickelodeon. I think it's, I think it was Nickelodeon produced radio radio rebel, uh, and. Is about this kid who rebels, at, uh, quite a shy kid who rebels on the air and creates a, a persona and a name for herself. And in the process, uh, sort of gets expelled. The radio, the, the principal doesn't know who Radio Rebel, Rebel is, and so if she ever finds out who Radio, radio Rebel is, and she never does, the press, that person will get expelled. And that's a big threat for kids. A lot of kids are being told in school now that you know you need, you need to behave or else and it, they've up the level of expulsion the reasons why you're going to be expelled it can be almost for any reason now that you can be expelled and what I've done is I'm creating an open education program uh, under Academia University uh, that will be for accessible to anybody it will be free and open over the internet 
and if you get expelled don't worry about it because you can always do this program it's highly academically oriented uh, I'm creating a uh, university stu uh, a student and employment program under the university so that when you finish uh, or during the program if you want to go out and get a job or, or, or start work looking at what's required to work in your field you can do that right from day one uh, there isn't any requirement that you have to wait till the fourth year or whatever to start looking at into how uh, you're going to be uh, working in your field. That can be done, you know, that's, that, that's why this, these programs are being set up because I found uh, and I've been getting requests from a number of places, uh, uh, this is globally even, uh, that there are students finishing university, but yet at the same time there's no jobs for them. And it surprises me that one, they finished their degree, and but they really don't know how to go about proceeding to get their job. And a lot of the jobs, when you're finishing a university degree, they're not s simply advertised jobs. It's not a job that you necessarily apply to. All these jobs are com are competitive. You have to have some degree of resume, uh, some form of portfolio ready in order to go in and show what you're capable of doing. And many students say, well, how do you do that if you haven't, ha if you haven't had any experience in the field because you were a student all the time? Well, the thing is that as a student, if the program is good enough, they, they should have been preparing you from, from, from the first year on uh, to have experience. There's no reason why you couldn't have gotten experience, and you still can get experience if you're a student, you can get experience in almost any field that you're going into. You can get experience and build your portfolio from day one. There are tons of opportunities out there. It's just a matter of if you know how to look for them or not. And a lot of this stems and comes out of library science. If you under know and understand library science well enough. And this is simply uh, most people who do the reading, who do, you know, this is particularly with the girls who have their book calls and stuff like that. The step into the library is not a, a difficult one. It's just one, you begin, you start organizing your books by genre. Uh, a number of gr uh, girls who have done the reading have figured out that if you join these book clubs and you, uh, at, at the bookstore, that you can get these advanced readers, uh, that you can get novels that other people won't get, particularly if you're doing reviews, uh, until much later on. Uh, and so, there's a, there's a possibility to advance yourself in your career from early on if you understand library science. And it's, it's not a complex thing to do. You start, even if you're starting off on a small level, like doing the advanced readers and organizing your bookshelves. That's a start. That's a good start there, and you build from there on out. You, you know, just like, you know, like with puzzles, you start with a smaller puzzle, like a 100-piece puzzle, and then you slowly work your way up the ladder into the larger 1,000 uh, to 3,000-piece puzzle. Once you're capable of, you know, I said, once you get uh, 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 done your, your beginning stuff, it doesn't take, it may be take a couple, and I think m most people get stuck with is the time frame. They think that they're not moving fast enough. But library skills, and very good library skills, skills take at least a year to two years to build your basic skills within a library. Once you've got your basic skills, and then you start moving up the ladder in terms of your intermediate and so on and so forth, and the amount of time you spend in the library really determines how, qu how quick you move up the ladder. And you always need to be sort of checking around because the library isn't simply a disconnected place from the world. The library brings a, a lot of global experience into the library. So every once in a while, as you're reading different stories and different these are basically different experiences. Uh, you need to sort of go out and sort of understand some of these, ex these experiences. And this is sort of, you know, if you're reading a book and you like reading books that are set in the cafe setting and there are these uh, 
highly intelligent piece, these, these philosophers who sit in the cafe and they have you know, their discussions and so on and so forth, then you need to go out to a cafe to sort of just to sort of see what it's like and see what's around there. You know, you also need to have your journal so that you keep taking your notes with you. And you, keep, you take notes. I think most girls do have some degree of a journal. Uh, it just, if you're going into library sciences, if you want to use the library science as your base to build to other academics and build your courses from there, from your library science, then your notes need to be moved up from that casual level that you have in your journal into something more significant. But as I said, because if you're already doing a journal to a certain degree, you've already taken the first step, so the next step won't be that much more difficult. Anyways, um, there is an enormous amount to do today. I'm going to try to get some more cleaning done. So I think I'll leave you here for now. And I will see you tonight for the news. Alrighty, have a good day.